Hi guys, I am back. Thanks for joining me. This is a new mold I got from Timu. It's a little mushroom. This is the top and this is the base. And today I'm going to do a couple different techniques. I'm going to be using my UV resin and we're going to be putting in the little raindrops, I guess. And then I'm going to use my Let's Resin Chameleon powders. I have one in plum and I have one in teal that I chose. And I'm going to paint that inside of the lid. See these little round sections? So I'm gonna do the round sections in one color and the rest of it in another color. And then we're gonna fill that with um, black resin and see if we can still see the raindrops on it. Now the base I'm gonna do different. The base, as you know, I like glitter. I'm going to fill it with glitter and resin. So let's get started and see if this one works. Let's okay, I realized right off the bat, there's a huge slope to this top of the mushroom. So what I have to do is put in one or two drops at a time and get them set with this UV light and hold them at the angle I want them to stay. Otherwise they will drip all towards the top of the mushroom and that's not what I want. So this is going to take me probably 10 to 15 minutes, so I'm not going to make you watch all this. So what I'm going to do is just do a little section at a time, a few dots, put it under the light, get it set, and then we'll move on once it's complete. Be right back. Okay, here it is all done. This took about 10, 12 minutes to get all these done. I did do about four or five at a time, so it wasn't too, too bad. So this is what it looks like right before we put in the chameleon powder. These are the two colors I chose, and I decided to leave this clip in for you, even though it is no longer relevant to this project. But I just wanted to show you what I learned and what mistake you should not make. So I went ahead and I painted in all these little ovals inside the mushroom. One problem was I chose too stiff of a brush because I wanted the smallest brush I could find, and it was just a little bit too stiff. The second problem was the powder was getting outside of those ovals and there was no way to clean them up. I did try to take a little bit of alcohol and wipe it down to get it off so it didn't look messy on the outside of it because whatever color you get on that silicone is the color you're going to see. So when I go in with the other color, it's not going to take that first color off. It's just going to go over it. I hope that makes sense. But as I was putting it on with this stiff brush, my little droplets were popping off. So I got frustrated. I did finish painting the whole thing. They kept popping off. So what I did was I washed out the entire thing, alcoholed it down and started completely over. I put UV resin in again and remade all my little droplets. And then I'm just going to combine the colors in no in a random order, I should say. So painting these in these little circles did not work. I thought I'd show you the little crime scene of all my little bubbles that popped off. Okay, 15 minutes later, I am starting all over with a fresh mu mushroom cap. Okay, so as you can see, I'm going in with a much larger, softer brush, and I'm just going to go in randomly and put, put the colors anywhere. There's no rhyme or reason why I'm doing it. I just want them to be combined randomly so it looks like it wasn't a mistake when we pulled this out of the resin.
Okay, because this mushroom cap is so deep, I'm going to use my deep pour resin. This mushroom cap takes five ounces of resin, so I did mix up two to one ratio. It is very thin, and I tinted it black with my Cast and Craft um, pigment paste, and I made sure that I could not see the stick below the black because I want it to pick up the chameleon powders. I don't want it to be um, transparent of any kind. I don't mind using deep pour resin. The only problem is you have to have patience because this can take probably two, maybe three days to cure before I can unmold this. I don't know what I was thinking, but I will tell you now, don't use deep pour resin if you're using glitter. I knew this would happen. Like if somebody reminded me, I would have said, oh, of course I know that. But I wasn't thinking. I poured the three ounces, two to one ratio. It's very thin viscosity. I added all my glitter, which was beautiful. And I poured it into this base of the mushroom and I made sure all the bubbles were out. I dragged my stick along the bottom. And then as I'm creating this video for you right now, and I'm looking at the base of my mushroom, the glitter sank to the bottom and it also floated to the top. So there is a big section in the center that is clear because it's still very liquid. And I did this hours and hours and hours ago. So I cannot even unmold this for two days before I can even pour it with the correct resin. So learn from my mistakes and use normal resin for the bottom. If you have deep pour and you're going to use it, use deep pour only for the top. So since I have this clip, even though it's not the one you're going to see, I will show you the wrong piece and I will show you the right piece when I um, unmold the correct one in about four days. So I will show you how I did it. I poured it very, very slowly over the top, even though you probably wouldn't see bubbles with all this glitter. And then I took my stick and I just dragged it along the edges at the bottom to make sure it's getting into every nook and cranny. And then I'll just pour a little bit more and a little bit more until it was completely full. And then you're just going to let it sit. So like I said, in two or three days, I'll unmold this one and save it for you just so you could see what happened. And then I will recast a new one with the proper resin. So I was pleasantly surprised, you guys. I unmolded this one to pour the new one. And to my surprise, I actually really like it. It did separate some, but there was still glitter in the center. So it's kind of a graded, a gradient, whatever the word is, glitter on the base. So I am super excited that I do not have to pour another one. Okay, here's the lid. I think it's really adorable. You could see all the colors, the purple, the red, the green, the blue. I think the droplets came out good. I'm really happy with it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like the two different, the top and the bottom? Should I kept them all the same? What do you think? Should I try this again with something more natural like pebbles? 
Anyway, I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for coming in again. Please like and subscribe. Help support my tutorials. That would be great. I hope you guys all have a blessed day. See you later. Bye-bye.